Hey, what's up guys? We're doing Traveler today. Traveler, Traveler, Traveler. Um, as requested by Marianne. Almost forgot. Almost forget. Now she asked me to do it with no bar chords, which I was able to get away with that for almost the whole thing. 99.9% .9 of it. So we've got to put the capo on the third fret. Now remember when the capo is on, I may call out shapes like E minor, A minor. I may say play the, the E minor chord. It's not actually an E minor chord because the capo is on. It's actually a G minor. But I'm just talking about the shapes, so don't get confused. It can be tricky with the guitar. But remember, it's just the shapes. And I got this off of a live video where I saw her play where she plays bar chords. So again, that might be a little confusing. Also, if you're looking at her live going, she's not playing the same shapes. It's the same chords, just so you know. So if I play an E minor shape like this with the capo on, she'll play a G minor like that as a bar. It's the exact same thing. A couple of the chords had to be changed so that there weren't bar chords. So it would sound just a little bit different than the live, but it's as close as you can get, I think. Okay, ready? Let's go, Marion. Okay, so to start it off, we're going to be playing the first string and second string. Just like that. And that's how it opens the song, the intro. Now try to make it a little staccato. It's not... It's like... Eighth notes. That goes for four bars. And now you've got... This is... Now put your first finger on the second string, first fret. So you go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two three and four and one and two and three and four and and then the guitar player, this is off the live version, the guitar player keeps going with this. And then she comes in with this C. She actually, if you look, she'll play it like this. But that's a bar chord, and I know Marianne doesn't want a bar chord. So I would just say, open C. And now you're into the chorus. E minor. A minor. sharp and I would actually let go. I don't think it's this to this. I think it's actually this to that. And uh, E minor. F. A minor. Now she does this and you can clearly see this on the live, not so much on the recording. But she does this D7 shape. So I'm thinking I'm paying attention to this finger, which is on the second fret if we're counting the capo as zero. So it goes second, five, eight, oops, eleven. You can hear that on the recording, but I think you only see her do it up to eight in the live. So you're going to have to listen to both. Um, and see which one you like better. So it's like one, and two, and three, and four. That's the recording live. I think she just does one, and two, and three, and four. Um, so for strum, she's pretty strummy. Down. So it's like. line she improvises now for that second verse she's playing E minor A minor E minor minor and then 
this is your second verse, then you can see her transition, which doesn't necessarily happen in the live recording. So it goes E minor, D, G. Now here's where I couldn't get away from the bar chord. F sharp seven. For two beats. Okay, makes sense? Um, then we have chorus two. E minor, A minor, D, G, G over F sharp, E minor, A minor, And then it repeats the chorus, but it's back to the very first chorus. So the A mi E minor, A minor, D, G, G over F sharp, E minor, F, A minor, and then your walk-ups one. Now you've got the bridge at 158. Now I'm pulling mainly from uh, the, the uh, original recording here. So you've got A minor, uh, A minor over G sharp. That's the shape. I didn't play that as clean. A minor over G. To D over F sharp. So let's see, so A minor. A minor over G sharp, which is the fourth fret. Screw that up again. A minor over G, which is the third fret, sixth string, and then D over F sharp. Okay. Now F two three four B seven two three four, and now that she's into the. <laughs> So you got the E minor, mm -mm -mm, D7, little walk-ups, E minor, just stay on D7, and now chorus three, E minor, A minor, to the outro. I'm so tired of myself talking. E minor, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three. Okay, I know that was a lot. That was a lot for me. It's the same chords over and over, but just in little different patterns and shapes. So, Marianne, I know you're having trouble with the strumming. If it's too much right now, just do eighth note down strokes. That sounds nice. Instead of adding all the embellishments, get the chord shapes first. Now what I want you to do, especially for this one, is write everything down. I have two pages worth of notes on this one because of all the chord changes. So don't feel like you have to watch this video and just memorize it from the first couple times. Write it down and write the chord shapes down um, as it's going along so you can pause it and then refer back to it, but then you have your notes for this one. That's really important. Now, again, she's just kind of improvising her strum along with her lyrics. Which is cool. That's what that's what tons of guitar players do and singer songwriters. Uh, it makes them more interesting. So don't feel like you have to get a specific rhythm down because she's changing it all the time. The important is that you have the kind of intensity. 
That's why I suggested an eight note. Because you'd rather it sound like that good instead of like... You know what I mean? Trying to add in more and then, and then the quality of sound declines. Take it a little bit less and so that you're playing it with confidence. That's my suggestion. And then try to get this F sharp seven, F sharp seven shape down. That's the only bar chord in there. Come on, just one, one teeny tiny one. I couldn't get around it, I'm sorry. I tried. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.